a Meccano Set 10 lifting shovel from the 1970s manual. Uh, there were a total of 20 models in this manual. Um, this is this quite a good model, but very fiddly to make. Um, very difficult to get some of the nuts and bolts on, and the diagrams aren't that great. So let's actually see it working. So first thing is the steering, and that's actually on a suspension. I don't know if you can see that, but, but uh, the front uh, axle is uh, on a uh, sus proper suspension. Uh, let's see the winching going on. So start the motor. Shovel. And lift it again. Now the uh, rear drive. Right, uh, the rear drive's pretty obvious. There, there's a differential in there also, uh, operated by a control in the cab. Uh, for the winching, there's actually two controls. Uh, this control here um, operates the drum through a friction drive, and there's actually an automatic brake on the uh, drum, so when it's not in operation, um, it doesn't. The, the whole winching system doesn't come down. What's less obvious is there's another control at the back, and the job of that is to, um, while the shovel is lowering, it drops the shovel, makes it turn, as you see it, clockwise, and then as the uh, arm is right at the base, flicking it again actually allows um, a little catch there to re-engage on the shovel so that it goes back into the upward, um, upward position. And uh, what forces the shovel upwards is this uh, string here. Um, and that, that is very clever. Uh, that really makes the model, uh, in my opinion. Um, so all in all, it's, it's a pretty good model, but the construction, yet fiddly, manual not too good. Um, also, the E15R motor, you heard, probably heard, was struggling quite a bit. Um, they could have uh, worked out better gear reduction on it, so that it wasn't—it's uh, not straining quite so much.